guys, welcome back. So today I finally decided to play around in my LA Girl Hot Hot Heat palette. Now this is the other one that I haven't used yet, which is the Aloha Vibes palette. And as you can see, this palette is gorgeous. It kind of has a blue and purple theme. And it is 16 shadows that are just absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this look. So today I'm starting out by carving out my eyebrows, or should I say drawing on some eyebrows, using my e.l.f. lock-on liner and e.l.f. pomade. And I'm just using that to basically fill in my brows and <laughs> draw them where they don't exist. And to clean up these eyebrows, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer. And I use the color Dark Cocoa for this. It's pretty close to my skin tone, so I like to use that so I don't get that halo look around my brows. Now to set my eyelids, I'm using my Too Faced what is this? The Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I love using this stuff to set my lids. The color that I have is caramel. It's a little bit too light for my face, so I like using it for setting my lids. It works out great. I'm going in with tape today because I want a nice clean line. So this is the palette, you guys. I really want to go in and show you some swatches of how these colors look on my skin tone just in case you haven't seen it before. This palette is really, really nice. The colors swatch beautifully and I must say it does remind me of <laughs> Aloha Vibes. I mean these colors go very, very well together. They're nicely pigmented. The shimmers are beautiful and the mattes swatch nicely pigmented. So to start out my look today, I'm going into the shade Romance, which is kind of like a deep dark forest green color. And I want to use this as the base for my look today. Now this color is very nicely pigmented. I mean, you can see right here, I'm just going in and tapping it on and the color is just so extreme. I was very surprised. Now to blend out the edges of that darker shade, I'm going in with the color Utopia. Now this is a very light lavender type matte shade. It's super light, but it worked out perfectly to blend out the edges of that darker shadow. Now I wasn't sure what I wanted to do today, so I decided to go ahead and try a halo eye look with this palette. So I'm using my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas just to kind of carve out the base for my halo eye. And to start out this halo eye, I'm going into this beautiful purple shimmer shade, which is Orchid. Now it's not showing up that great on my camera and that base with the green on it is not helping, but that color is super duper pretty. I mean, it is the most beautiful lavender type shimmer. Now I wanted to add a little bit of extra pizzazz, so I'm going into the color Maui, which is this beautiful, it's kind of like a sea foam shimmer shade, and it's a little bit chunky, not in a bad way, in a good way. So it's kind of like a little bit like glitter, but not really. It's still a shimmer shadow, but it's very, very pretty. So I'm just placing that on the inner and outer parts of that halo eye. Now I'm going back in with Romance just to make sure that those corners are nice and deep and dark for this look. Now once I clean off a little bit of fallout, there really wasn't much fallout. I don't know what I was wiping off. I decided to go ahead and use one of my AliExpress colored liners. I wanted to do something a little different today instead of black. I wasn't sure how this blue liner was going to look on this eye look, but you guys, it went very, very nicely with this eye look. I like how those blues just kind of complemented each other. 
Very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and magically complete my complexion. And when I come back, we'll finish these eyes. So I'm going in with one of my Italia Deluxe eyeliner pencils. And this is just the color lavender. I wanted to bring that lavender down to my lower lash line as well to add a pop of color. And I'm going back into the palette, going into this shade Island Life. This is just the absolutely gorgeous it's kind of like a sea foam shimmer. It's very, very pretty. And for my inner corner, I'm going into the shade Plumeria. Now, I wasn't expecting that pop. I didn't wet my brush at all today, you guys. All of these shimmers are going on dry, dry brush, and they are really popping. Now for mascara, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I got this in my Ipsy bag this month. And I really like it, it's very nice. For my lips, I wanted to do something nude, so I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. I'm also going in with one of my Shayla Collection lipsticks, and this is in the shade Ooh, or how do you say it, Ooh. <laughs> and I'm topping that off with my Essence Lip Gloss, and this one is actually called Bright On. It's one of their wet look lip glosses and setting the whole look with my Pixi Glow Mist Setting Spray. I must say, you guys, I am pretty shocked at this palette. I've seen other people use it and they created some absolutely gorgeous looks, but I was not ready for the pigmentation, you guys. I was not ready for this pigmentation. I mean, the blue is popping, the shimmers are popping, and I'm loving every minute of it. So. First impression, I really like this palette. I'm glad I picked it up. LA Girl has really stepped their game up with these palettes, you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed watching me test it out today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!